This was a really very funny story in the beginning, you know, because uh, the designer started this as a lunchtime project, you know, and I didn't know about this in the beginning. So one day they came to me and showed me the first sketches and the first animations, and I was just blown away from the from the amount of creativity that went in there and the the high standard that they were doing. So I was really impressed, and I said, guys, we have to do this. So I was always passionate by cars as far as I remember and uh, already as a teenager playing with Gran Turismo 1 I remember for me with the game was already the nice experience to play with exotic cars and to be able to, to race them and I have to say maybe it even uh, supported me I would say or it even like uh, yeah, helped me to choose my uh, designer's uh, job direction. The Gran Turismo as a game is defined as a real driving simulator and um, they are very serious and passionate about how they, how they approach things and what they do. And we learned that from them and they kind of infected us with this uh, mindset and this culture. For me personally, one of the biggest goals of the project was that the car not only looks great in the game, but performs and competes with the best in its class. このシコダビジョングランツーリスモのまずデザインなんですけれどもあのものすごくシャープなエッジで作られていてすごく未来的なんですがでもちろんこれ EV なので未来に向けた車なんですけれどもあのそのプロポーションを見るとあのものすごく伝統的な後輪駆動の軽量なスポーツカーのプロポーションをしてるんですよね。あのそのあたりのあの未来に向かう眼差しとえー、と過去のまあかっこいい車の形をまあ両方合わせたようなまあそういうデザインが僕はすごく気に入っています。Or the idea behind this car is that we do something that is really out there, you know? So that has something to do with our 11OC that you see in the background. Because this car I saw first of time in the restoration, you know, when it was not completed, but this was already giving us some kind of input, some, some,、uh, Some motivation also to work on, on cars like this, you know. I was responsible of the exterior of the, of the design,、um, and also I was、uh, following、uh, the, the whole project from the beginning because I'm a big fan of uh, uh, Gran Turismo. I played the game from the first one in、uh, '97. And、uh, I was surprised when I came at、uh, Skoda、um, that、um, Skoda, with such a strong、uh, motorsport history, was not in the game. So we decided、um, uh, with a small team to prepare some sketches and some 3D, and then、uh, here we are. Skoda Vision Gran Turismo is a full electric racing special. We are running 800 volt traction system、uh, based on the lithium ion battery, which is integrated into the floor, bringing down the center of the gravity and helps with the overall weight distribution. We really wanted to, to focus on the driver experience when the, the gamer is really using with the cockpit view. So, from that point, we really designed All the interior around this、uh, precise, like pilot view. When you play into the Skoda Vision Gran Turismo, you can feel really like all the shape, like supporting you a bit with the volume, like、uh, being really focused on the track, like a bit、uh, a vanishing point, I would say. When you see it really、uh, driving into the track, this is where the, the car really becomes reality, and this is、uh, 
such a nice moment, you know, because I'm a big fan of Gran Turismo and to see the car yet that you, you sketch and is in the game, that was really an amazing moment. <laughs> we are super proud with the Skoda Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, it's an outstanding uh, car. We didn't expect uh, such an uh, amazing project. I think we will uh, beat uh, everyone in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's a dream, you know. So, and uh, you have to dream on this for this car into this game, you know.